All right, hey everybody, we're gonna be cracking into some Murders at Karlov Manor collector booster boxes. So, this set has been pretty anticipated. There's a lot of spicy cards in it. Um, and it's also the introduction of the play boosters, which I will be opening a box of that as well. Um, so, typical collector booster box setup, 12 packs. Um, the cards we're going to be looking for today is going to be Agris Koss, Alquist Prophet, Anzrag the Quake Mole, Aurelia the Law Above, Aurelia's Vindicator, um, Conspiracy Unraveler, Delny Streetwise Lookout, Atrada Deadly Fugitive, Incinerator of the Guilty, uh, Intrude on the Mind, Leyline, uh, The Massacre Girl Known Killer, and there's a few other ones, so I will just let you know if we do get any of those, so you can take a look at um, what they're about. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about this murder mystery magic. It's pretty fun. <laughs> All right, so we got hedge maids. The surveil mechanic was really cool. It's introduced in Guilds of Ravnica, um, so I'll be interested to see. I mean, these are it's a Effectively a scribe that goes into your graveyard, so um, if you want it to. Um, so potentially we could see some use in like dredge. Um, hard to say. Uh, this is the showcase. It's like that classic like detective book type look. It's pretty cool. Homicide investigator, show stopping surprise, axe bane ferox, lost in the maze. The Chase is On, Demand Answers, and the Commons and Uncommons. So the, the artwork for these is actually pretty cool. I'm really about it. Uh, the set itself has a lot of stuff that's definitely going to see standard play with the uptick in um, that competitive scene with the RCQs and store championships and standard showdowns. There's also a lot of stuff for Commander, too, so all in all, it's like a really well-rounded set. Uh, Bane Ripper, that is our Mythic Showcase. Okay. Assemble the Players. Ransom Note. Illicit Masquerade. Niv-Mizzet Guild Pact. Magnetic Snuffler. Murder. And... Our commons and uncommons. So far we haven't seen any of the big pulls, but we still got a long ways to go. And uh, Clue is making a re return in this set, so that's pretty exciting. Oh, there we go, a foil showcase uh, Aurelia's Vindicator. That is sitting around $25 right now. I'm just gonna put these over here. Got Kylox Visionary Inventor, Print Lifter Ooze, Cranko's Buzz Crusher, Unyielding Gatekeeper, Unauthorized Exit, Culver Ambusher, and our Commons and Uncommons. I'm missing half of these cards. And we got Joe over there sorting these for us. So any cards that you do see will be available in store uh, for pre-order starting today. Lamplight Phoenix. Shadowy Backstreet. Oh, I didn't notice. These are actually fetchable, so that's really interesting. Um, they will definitely be seeing play uh, then. Sophia Dog Detective. Relive the Past, Anzrag the Quake Mole, so that was one that we were looking for. It is currently sitting at about $30 for the foil version, so that's pretty cool. The artwork in this set, I'm, I'm about it. It's very like classic magic, so I'm definitely liking seeing that stuff, and hopefully no more AI art. <laughs> And we a clue. Get a clue. 
Forensic Gadgeteer, Reenact the Crime, Bolt Bender, Hunted Bone Brute, Meticulous Archive, Expose the Culprit, On the Job, and the Draft Fodder. Drafting for this set should be really, really interesting. I think you're going to see a lot more options as far as what people are going to be able to build with the play booster setup. You're effectively having a set booster with the commons, uncommons of a draft and the potential for lists as well. And as far as I know, I haven't seen anything that says that those are not playable in the format. So we'll see. All right, so Tristani uh, is definitely one that we were looking for to. It showcase is sitting around, uh, well, there's several showcases for it, so I'm not 100%, but we're gonna say somewhere between uh, 50 and $50. That's, that's a wide, what's that about? Okay, so there's invisible ink, I guess, in this set. Um, hopefully, <laughs> if we pull one, we'll be able to identify it. Um, this one is a 332, so this one is going to be that $15 card. Um, Cryptex, Lamplighter Phoenix, Deduce, It Doesn't Add Up, and Commons and Uncommons. Alright. Thopter, The Good Old Days. Wojak Investigator, that was another one. It showcases around $17 right now. Uh, oh, look at that. Double up. Um, I do not have the price for the non-foil version of that, but I'm going to say, given the state of how foils and non-foils have gone, it's probably sitting somewhere close to $17 as well. Um, Havoc Eater. That's in, uh, we got quite a few of these Lamplight Phoenixes. Uh, so it's, it's an interesting card, definitely like makes me reminiscent of Arclight, but, um, it does have the ability to, uh, come back, uh, to the battlefield. So as we learn a little bit more about how evidence works, um, I think we'll see definitely some play in standard with that card. Haunted Bone Brute, another murder, unauthorized exit. And oh, and you may have just heard Joe say how many showcases. There are a few different showcase variations. Um, you're going to have the uh, kind of rounded look that we've seen a little bit of. And then you'll have the detective book look. And then apparently the invisible ink. So hopefully we can see one to kind of see well, what that's about. The magnifying glass is a showcase too, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Alquist Prophet. Uh, that was another one we were looking for. Um, its showcase uh, is sitting at twenty four dollars right now, so definitely an interesting card. Uh, Immortal Obligation, Leyline of the Guild Pact. That's sitting at seventeen currently. I mean, as we know, Leylines are always strong, so I'm sure it will see play. Really interesting ways to cast. Got a lot of mana options there. Um, so we'll be interested to see how that plays out. Blood splatter analysis, convenient target, the chase is on, and our bulk. All right. Cranko, Baron of the Tin. Of Tin Street. This will definitely see play in Goblin decks. Um, as far as price, I think it's going to be more of like a game piece than uh, having a significant value to it, but um, that remains to be said. I definitely think this has a place in a Perforos, God of the Forge. Uh, just being able to create 1-1 one, one red goblins whenever an artifact is put into the graveyard from the battlefield. So can be anybody doing that. Elegant Parlor, Duskana, Cryptic Coat, 10th District Hero, Auspicious Arrival. This artwork is sick for Insidious Roots and our bulk. 
All right. Let's see. Let's see. Undead Mortuary. Yaris. That artwork is also super sick. About it. Charnel Serenade. No Witnesses. Another Wojak Investigator. This guy's sitting at 16. Not Showcase. Fanatical Strength. Makeshift Binding. Yeah. Alright. Two packs left. Let's see what we got going on here. Izoni, Center of the Web. Audience with Tristani. True Identity. Treacherous Greed. Steam Core Scholar. Persuasive Interrogators. And Deuce. Alright, last pack magic. Let's get a good one. Uh, so, let's see. Anzrag's Rampage. Of officious Interrogation. Merchant of Truth. Connecting the Dots. Ezrim. Dramatic Accusation. Frantic Scapegoat. And a Forest. Um, all in all, I think it was an okay box. I'm not 100% sure on that value, but I will be posting it in the description okay. in the video. Uh, remember to subscribe if you like the video, and also keep an eye out for the Play Booster box opening. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.